Today, we're going to talk about setting sales targets and forecasts in your cleaning business. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly, it's Amazing Business. And today we're gonna to talk about setting sales targets, also known as forecasts, within your cleaning business. I started using sales forecasting in my business probably around five years or so ago when I got very serious about my business to the point that I wanted it to run without me. And I was starting to look at processes and hiring managers and growing my team so that I could exit on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I needed those targets to know that I needed to earn X amount in order for me to be able to pay for a new manager, a van. It's important to know um, your break-even point, which we now know, and your charge rate and what you're making net profit per hour, all of which we now know because of the other videos that we've done so far in this series. And yes, I'm aware that financials is hella boring. Financials is hella boring. But it is worth it. Please stay with me. It will help you in your business. I promise. There are a couple of ways to do forecasts. There's one called from the top down and one from the bottom up. There's also many things to take into consideration depending on what your target needs to be set on. So are you tracking revenue? Are you tracking gross profit? Are you tracking cost per customer? Now, as always, before we get overwhelmed, there will be a cheat sheet below with all of these terms and definitions in more depth so you can decide what is the best route for your business and what is the best thing to set the target on for your business. You will now be able to know, okay, if I need to make an extra £500 a month or I want to make another £1,000 a month, I need to be able to do X hours at this margin rate. So say, for example, you wanted to grow your business 20% in that year. You can work out what that 20% figure is based on your current year's turnover and then break it down by 12 months, break it down by the quarter. What a sales target helps you do is navigate to where you're going on growth for your business in a specific way and not in a kind of way. Most of all, targets need to be realistic. So why it would be great to grow your business 100% more than you did last year, it's not really viable um, and it's not really realistic. And you'll get to the stage where you'll just dash off the sales targets because they don't mean anything. Um, if they're too low and you you know you you set yourself the target you want to grow an extra hundred pounds in in net profits over the year you're going to smash that no problem in that so they need to be realistic and enough of a challenge to make you really want to hammer them but not so soft that you just think meh got it secondly targets need to be monitored so as i say i have an annual total which i break down to quarters and then i break down to months so at the end of every month, when I look at my P&Ls and we look at the cost of sales and all the fixed costs and any variable costs, I can see what that profit margin was and whether we were close to target. That then helps me look at my targets for that quarter and whether I need to adjust them and if that has a knock-on effect for the year. It's not really a case of set it and forget it. The same way as your business plan shouldn't be set it and forget it. They should be organic living things that you as the business owner pay attention to because they are the things that will tell you whether your business is healthy, whether it's growing and have an impact on the decisions and the growth of your business moving forward. So there is a cheat sheet down below. If you have found this video helpful, please whack that thumbs up button. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know how you currently set um, forecasts. Do you base it on customers? Do you base it on revenue? Do you base it on profits? Let me know in the comments and all the other cleaning business owners. Also, hit that bell to get videos every Wednesday and don't forget the cheat sheets. Thank you very much for being here. I'll be back here next Wednesday when it is the final instalment of the financials program that I've been running throughout July. So next week we're going to talk about how you can put your prices up every year without all of the messing around and the nervousness and all of the things I always see in groups about, oh no, how do I do it? I'm going to show you how you can do it and not only do it, but do it every single year. So be back here Wednesday. Until then, you can catch me on the Insta, subscribe to the channel and all that other stuff and I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.